Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to Backpack Hero, and not quite where I expected to be. You see, at the end of the last episode, I realized, as I was about to save the game, that I hadn't actually made any selection for what to equip from Matthew, and uh, the way you save the game is you have to move off that tile, because for having Matthew in the same tile as you, it blocks the save mechanic for some reason, and I didn't want to just hastily make some decision on the equipment loadout without you being here, so I figured, ah, I'll just close the game, It's, uh, or rather go back to have a set kill, uh, that'll be fine, we will uh, come back in, then I'll just restart the mission since I hadn't made any any progress or any decisions, it wouldn't, it would effectively not even appear that anything had gone on, it was going to be a whole haha, behind the curtains kind of a deal. Uh, however, um, it seems that Haversack Hill is having a, uh, a spicy moment. We return to find the place, what I can only assume from the particle effect, on fire and full of enemies. Purse, we're under attack, said Stumpy. <sighs> okay, we're only a minute into the episode and our town is already in flames. Great start. There are still King's Thugs roaming the village now. Come back once you've defeated them. Uh, okay. Uh, do I just... Uh, not the backpack! Uh, okay. Uh, hello? Ow! She hit me with that backpack! I see. Uh, womp? Ow! She hit me with her backpack again! The girl's a menace! Ow, my paw! Oh, really, person? Do you go for the... What the heck is going on down here? Uh, are, are you drowning? What the... Oh, no. Are they gonna be stuck down there? Am I not gonna be able to interact with them because of this? Okay, that's going to be a bit of a pain. Uh, let me just go around and wallop a couple more thugs with my backpack first. And uh, then see if we can talk to some peeps. Whomp. Not the backpack. Well, I mean, what else am I going to use realistically? Uh, it's not exactly... Well, no, actually, yeah, I sold all my weapons. So I, I literally don't have any weapons to come back with. Uh, are there any more left? It's horrible to see this. Indeed, a violent skirmish it was. But thanks to the support you have given us, the patrol was able to beat them back. What happened? It was the King's Guard. They know you've been taken from the dungeon, and they want it back. Purse, we failed you. We were unable to protect your father. When they first attacked, he came out of your house. They grabbed him before we knew it. Okay, well, I'm going after them. They're going to pay for this. Where did they take my father? They dragged him back into the dungeon beneath your area. You must continue to delve deeper. That's where they've taken him. Soon you will rescue your father, and the resources you will get will only make us stronger against them. For the patrol! Uh, okay. Uh, let's have a chat with everyone. Purse! We were afraid. It was the King's Guard. So many villagers have been hurt. And your father. We saw them carry him off. This is a tragedy. Uh, the real tragedy is the fact that I'm not going to be doing a purse run. <laughs> Maybe I should. I don't know, though. Uh, is everyone free? Oh my lord. Okay, fine. fine. Let, 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 let me let me move this. I'm out, everyone. You're free. Hello. They got me. They got me. Ow. I'm hurt. Ow. Ow. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Let me shimmy this back into place. No, no, don't worry. Don't worry. I, I read somewhere that dropping a house on you is the best way to uh, to forget that you're in pain. Or rather, it's the best way to forget about the pain that you've got from your other injuries, at the very least. Uh, replace one pain with uh, another much more pressing one. Okay, well, uh, everything seems to be okay. Do we just go straight out? Oh, my lord. Wow, all of the NPCs are gone. I feel a little bit bad. Nevertheless, I promised you a toad run. <laughs> Off camera... Purse is head, she's doing some scouting missions, okay? She plays Shadowrun as Mirror Shades. She, she's getting intel before she charges through the front door. Okay, so while all that's going on, we're going to take out Wizard Tote and actually do a standard run. Ah, I was not expecting that, I'm not going to lie. That was quite interesting. It's all about arrangement. Okay, well, uh, on the chat's recommendation, or rather I should say comments, I, I, I switch swap chat comments all over the place these days uh i've even seen memes about how people are just referring to chat now as as a collective noun it's like this group of people over there hey chat it's like huh 
I don't know whether I'm allowed to feel that that's bad or not, considering I'm definitely doing it, and I also I feel that my profession is the one that is popularizing it, so it's like, hmm, would it be a bit of hypocrisy if I said that that seems bad? Uh, nevertheless, let's go ahead and grab an item set. This set served me well, he says. I hope it works for you. Well, what set have I got? I, I've got a mossy mace. Breach carving in your discard pile? Three damage on you, still five damage. Okay, well, uh, what did I... El hmm. Oh, okay, that's a very interesting one. All right, I see what uh, what was uh, being hinted at in the comments. I didn't realize it would get rid of my other carvings, but a lot of people said that they liked the synergies between carvings and the items you got with a set. I guess it obviously replaces the original uh, original carvings as well, which is quite a big one, actually. All right, let's head down to the Bramble this time and see what we can do in this run. Oh, I feel so bad about the town, though. Just kind of rushing off to do my own thing. Uh, hello. What are you trading? Uh, we can make a trade, you and I, he says. Give a different item of the same rarity. No, nope, not interested. I need better return or no deal. Alright, what have we got over here? We've got a rusty sword. I like the poison on a rusty sword. I do like the spicy car- uh, sp spicy- the spiky carving. Uh, dreaming ring. When a carving is summoned in an adjacent or diagonal space, adds four block. That seems a reasonable one. And gem sap. When connected to three saps, it deals six damage to all enemies. This carving is then discarded. I would not mind... Hmm. I don't know. The rusty sword is a solid one. Zero energy as well. Well, I mean, you, you summon it and it... it uh, for zero energy does its damage one so obviously then you need to discard it does take up two spaces though this takes one energy but you summon it first because this is an item this isn't a carving this just sits in my in my inventory i summon this first what, what was the energy consumption on these they're all zero so potentially i could build up a lot of block with the dreaming ring and then cast them all away and then use the mossy mace again and get a big you know heap of damp actually i quite like that idea all right, let's let's lean into the Mossy Mace build and see how we go. All right, so first and foremost, we're going to bring you in. Then we're going to bring you, you, and you. There we go. Perfect. I may as well bring everything in, frankly. There we are. We've now got stupid amounts of uh, protection. Let's go ahead and start dealing damage to you. And then now we're going to be doing 20 damage a pop. That is... A very potent combo, I must say. Really liking it. Okay, once again, gonna... Okay, so th the problem with this setup being so effective is that there's going to be very little reason for me to do anything differently for a little while. Uh, so that might lead to a bit of repetition. Uh, still, I hope it isn't too bad. Not to get items, assuming you up. Uh, I guess I'll take the mana shard. All uh, right, what do we got down here? We've got a green candle. Can be placed over other items on summoning. Carving behind are discarded. This carving is then discarded. Uh, pine cone. When a carving is summoned in an adjacent space, adds three block. This is a uh, nature item and is better than the ring, actually. And we've got the mossy brick. Uh, this item is heavy. Each turn adds three block. This carving is discarded on use. Now, this one might be useful for the Marcy Mace because I can use it to instantly discard a bunch of items without tossing all of my items out, depending on what I've got. So I think I might actually take that one. We'll see how that one goes. The Pinecone was quite tempting, though, but uh, I think the Marcy Block has a bit more bit more potential for us. All right, now I've got that. We can bring all of these in. There we go. And then toss. And immediately wallop you. And we don't have enough energy to use this. We need to get some energy providing items, I feel. Right then. Now, to see how all of this works, we do this. Bring that in. Whomp. I, I mean, I guess. Uh, right now, it's not as useful for what I'm doing. But uh, still, it's not a, not a bad option, really. I think. I, that being said as well, I could have done all of that without... I could have just used the mace twice. Hmm... Yeah, I think that's probably the, the correct play there, because to, well, to use the toss costs one energy. 
yeah. So uh, using the mossy block to get me the discard would be the better better play there, I think. Let's continue to expand this out more uniformly, I think. All right, get items, let's see what we've got. We've got a vine wand. It's conductive. Uh, projectile on summon adds three weak to an enemy and adds three slow to an enemy. We've got the rusty sword, which does add poison. The problem is you'd have to be summoning it fairly frequently. That being said, it might not be a bad one to go with. We've got the wooden shiv. Can be used one time each turn. On use, deals five damage. Uh, plus one damage until discard. Uh, I mean, that's not bad, really, when you think about it. Plus one damage until discard. As long as I... As long as I was using the Marcy Brick to do all my discarding, that might be viable. Rusty Sword as well. I really would like to get some status effects, so I'm going to bring that in. But later on, if we get an opportunity to use some smithing to get some status effects on things, I think that would be the better route to go. Now, I could get a chest of valuables or I could have a battle. And right now, I would say the experience is more valuable to me than just a random crate of valuables. Uh, I know that sounds a little bit counterproductive, but uh, counterintuitive, rather. Uh, let's bring all of these in. Don't need that anymore. Whomp. Perfect. Get rid of that for one point as well. That gives me a solid 20 damage twice. Okay, that actually works a lot better than the other item. Another mossy mace. Really? Is there a reason why I would want two of the... Why? Hmm. This one's common, but this one is rare. This one has more smithing op opportunities. Oh, can this one only be used... E no, this one... Hmm. Oh, it's a carving, of course, because it's got the green outline. Okay, for each carving in your discard pile, three damage, and uh, it costs zero to use. Oh, well, zero to summon, I suppose. Interesting, very interesting. I'm not sure... Well, would I want to bring that in? I guess, since if it's there, it gives me an opportunity to do an extra lump of damage, but hmm, it's a bit of a weird one. I almost don't want to take it because I don't feel that it's going to be that useful in my deck, but you know what? Sure, we'll, we'll pick it up and we'll see what we can do with it. I can always get rid of it at a shop. But uh, I'm interested to see how that one's going to work, the, the item versus the, the carving. All right. Uh, okay, we can't go that way, apparently. Oh, I don't need that yet, so... Right, we've got the Dove Deacon. Uh, let's pop down a chunky bit of block. Get rid of all of that. We're now doing 17 damage each. I could hit you twice to get rid of the ability that you're about to give yourself. So, womp, womp. Sat oh, actually, yeah, I can follow up again. Get rid of you. Get you out of the, the turn order completely. You're going to take a little bit of damage from the poison. Oh, I should have gone rid of that one first. That, that was why I wasn't doing as much damage. I was rather silly. Me. Oh, well. Uh, but we'll get rid of it just so it's not in my deck, so I can uh, draw it next turn. What it would be wonderful if we had with some spikes. Right, there we go. Let's summon these in. Get rid of all of that. Be gone with you. I would like to take you out if we can. So let's bring that in. Then we're going to do... We could toss it or I could just use this twice. We're already doing 17 damage. And that would make no sense to do. Uh, there we go. Unfortunately, we can't get rid of that one for now. But that's fine. Right. Uh, let's place these in. One, two, three. Can I pop that over there? No, I can't. That's a bit of a shame. But uh, we'll get rid of everything here i think we're, we're actually going to take the uh, the hit on the points there the energy points just to level up my mace a little bit more oh, level up is the wrong word but you know why right there we go got all of that open up uh we've got a proper mana stone uh well i'm gonna get rid of that one then now do i want any of these adjacent weapons get plus three damage not bad um This would be useful to me, no matter what I'm doing. So I will take it. Uh, I want to try and avoid muddying the deck too much, though, if possible. Uh, cherry Bomb deals five damage to all enemies. This carving is then banished. I've got a key. We want to take the key for eventual things. I don't want either of these in my deck, so I'm going to pass those up. Hello, hello. Let's have a look at what we can do here, then. 
first and foremost, I'd like to place this. Hmm. I'm going to place this here, and I will explain why in a moment. Uh, we are going to let that fall down and discard this as well. Then bring this in. There we go. Get rid of you, and then hit you. Unfortunately, only once, but that's fine. I'll need to get rid of that next turn, but that's okay for now. Or I might be able to get rid of it with a... Uh, no, I didn't get it. That's a bit of a shame, but oh well. Uh, I was going to say... It, it, I should have brought that in first. Uh, I might have been able to get rid of it if I'd had the mossy brick to just dump down there, but that's, that's okay. All right, toss all of that, and wallop you for the remainder of your health. And what do we get? We got another mana stone. Again, don't really, don't really see much point in taking it, but I guess I will for now, regardless. Uh, we've got a poison carving, adds four poison to uh, an enemy. Now this one, I like a lot. Just having the ability to add poison. The Mask of Secrets. Uh, if this is not in the top row, item is disabled. On summon, adds one dodge to self. Or Gardener's Helmet. If this is not in the top row, this item is disabled. Each turn, add two block, and on discard, add seven block. Both of these are really nice, but I think it has to be the poison vial. There will always be a reason for me to take that. What have we got down here? I'm not taking a curse. Right, getting rid of you is important because you're going to skedaddle much faster than I would like. Uh, first thing we're going to do then... It's actually kind of a painful one because I haven't got anything to discard yet. Uh, I suppose... Suppose what I could do, I can't get past you. That is, that is bitter. Uh, but all right, uh, place that in. It'll also discard. And place this in. I'm then going to let's just have a look at all of the the points. I could use a point to discard, but I'm not going to just yet. Instead, I'm going to introduce this. I'm going to use that one. Immediately do ten damage. Bring this one in. Finish you off. Now I need to focus all my attention on you. Because you are going to get away very soon. And I want that great luck. Some early great luck would be deeply appreciated. Uh, we've only got five damage incoming, so that's not something I need to worry about over much. Let's pop all of that in. We're going to get rid of all of those. Whomp. Now I can do three... Uh, sorry, 23 damage in one go. Twice. So let's just do that. That. There we are. I could have gotten rid of it again. I keep forgetting that. I need to remember that the mossy brick can be discarded for free, for all intents and purposes. Right, let's pop you in, get the uh, upgrade there. Doesn't matter, we've won. Right, okay, greater luck. The Book of Nightmares, a legendary carving. On sub and adds 100 weak to all enemies, or on discard removes 100 weak from all enemies. Oh, okay, that's an interesting one. And it's conductive as well. Uh, the Wiz Buckler, for each connected mana stone, plus two block. On use, plus two block. Right, okay, I like it. Uh, what have we got over here? The Sharp Wand. Adjacent weapons get plus four damage. A hundred weak, though. Again, weak will remove the ability to do so much damage. This, this is a boss disabler, effectively. This one is quite nice. Um, that is quite nice, but it says on use. A zero on use without, like that one is, it doesn't say that I can't use it multiple times. Does it drain the mana stones? It doesn't say so. Like, that one's almost worth not taking. I'm going to take the Book of Nightmares just because it looks so ridiculously cool. But, hmm, that, that's a curious one, definitely. Right, we've got the Survival Guide. Removes five from all status effects on everyone. We've got the Dagger. We've got the Bayou Club. Deals eight damage, that's two weak to an enemy. We've got a Crystal Sap. When connected to three saps, we've got the Green Candle. I don't actually want any of these. If I must be honest, uh, we're not really going for a sap run. Sap seems such a difficult one, especially when the Mossy Mace is, is empowered by effectively discarding items. Uh, right, we've got two big fights up ahead. First one, I'm going to grab this gold. Let's go say hello. 
All right, let's have a look over here. The Mouse Ruffian. He never runs from a scrap. Okay, fair enough. Uh, let's bring you in. I would then like to summon in this. I would like to hit you decently hard there. Very nice indeed. Then get in a little bit of extra. We could then toss the remainder. We'll only deal five damage, though. Uh, honestly, I'm not going to get a kill either way. So, I mean, uh, in one point of damage either way. So, I'll just go ahead and I'll do that. Angry. When attacked, at one way. So, I really do want to make this... Uh, end this fight quickly, if possible. Uh, let's go ahead and pop that in. We're up to six now. We're bringing this in, but we're no longer taking that out. Oh, no. Am I not allowed? Right, I've got to pop it there. Right, okay. Well, that's fine. You, you're now basically completely disabled. Uh, let's bring this in. Bring you in. Get rid of you. There we go. Wallop you a little bit more. I do not need to worry about your incoming damage whatsoever. Ah, I, oh, and it got disa uh, disabled at the end of the turn. Right. Each turn, oh yeah, each turn this carving is discarded, yeah. Okay, so that that's how the, the energy is going to be used there. It would I'd be dangerous if I if I would read, <laughs> my lord. Right. Regardless though, we've already won this fight, so let's finish you off. Pomp. Oh yeah, okay, uh, you win. I wonder if the uh, shield, I'll have to check in editing if the whiz buckler consumes mana, like it's summoning cost is mana, because that would make sense. The druid staff. Uh, on summon, deals 10 damage. On discard, adds 1 mana to the connected mana network. Aha! Free sword. The more times I discard it, the more powerful it becomes. That one's an interesting one. This one requires mana to summon. Okay, I'm starting to pay more attention now. <laughs> Finally. Uh, shield on summon, adds 12 block. I might not mind bringing in the druid staff, if I'm perfectly honest. Just so I can start charging these back up again. But the tree sword sounds really, really good. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna pick that up, sure. I can take one extra item. No, I, I don't. I don't want any more items. I'm gonna be honest. Right, let's have a look at what we can do then. Um, hmm. It's not the best time to play this one right now. Uh, I guess it's going to be dis uh, discarded regardless. What I do now, just based on when it got brought in. But uh, I don't strictly need to play this. Let's get my block up. That's enough for me. Uh, let's get rid of those. There we go. Take you out. There we are. All right, you can just go into the discard pile. I'm not going to use up the, the mana on that. That being said, there's now no use for me to bring this one in either, but that's okay. Uh, let's apply the poison over there. Uh, let's bring that in as well. Now, would I like to get rid of all of this before hitting? I'll do 20 damage in one go. I'll do 4 damage. Sure, let's discard. Hit. Got rid of you. You're going to do a little bit of damage, but nothing that I can't handle. Now, unfortunately, the discard pile has been emptied, which isn't exactly ideal, let's be honest. Let's put all of these in. Get a nice chunky bit of damage there. And... Uh, still no real point of bringing this in yet, I don't think. That being said, we're actually starting to get close now, thanks to the rage of needing to start uh, having a little bit more block. Uh, we'll see how this goes, though. Uh, first and foremost, let's bring in... Sure, we'll bring that in. Get rid of all of those. Be gone with you. Some of this. Bring you in. Wallop of uh, health loss. And there we go. Not bad at all. Alright, let's uh, expand out some more space over on this side. Might be able to get some more... Um, <laughs> there we go. Might be able to get some more uh, mana stones, is what I was about to say. And there we go. Uh, shiitake Mushroom. Adds one rage to self when an adjacent consumable used. Adds three rage to self. The acorn sap. 
We've got Vine Sap, adds one dodge itself. We've got a Rose Arrow. For each connected mana stone, plus two damage on use, deals five damage. This carving is discarded. Now, I can only assume I need a bow to fire that. I can only assume that to be the case. Um, nothing here really jumping out at me. May, I'm starting to wonder about getting this out, but I'm already starting to have a bit of muddiness in my deck, and I don't think there's any reason to change things up. I wouldn't mind picking up some armor if I could find some, but uh, right now that doesn't seem to be on the cards for us just yet. Uh, more candles, no, nothing there that I particularly want. Now, I could be making mistakes, but I, I might be overcompensating, and I'm aware of that risk in that the, the first run... I, I felt I did very poorly because I muddied the deck, and now I might be being over picky. Uh, nevertheless, I, I'm, I'm enjoying how effective Tote seems to be so far. Uh, we've got Root Sap, adds 8 poison to an enemy. I mean, the saps are very, very nice. I could pick up another Acorn Cap. That one wouldn't be too bad of an option. I can remove a carving for a price. Um... Is there really anything I would want to get out of here? No, not really. How much money we've got? We've got 57. Well, let's go and see what we've got down here. Oh, hello, Possum. Let's pray for him. You kneel to pray for him. Your good deed strengthens you. Oh, there we are. That's five uh, max HP. Not too bad. Hello. Add one burn to a weapon. Add two blocked armor. Add two spikes. Do I have a shield? Something that constitutes it? I don't think I do, actually, which is a bit of a shame. Um, unless these counter shields... Yeah, they do. Hmm, I could add spikes to them. That would actually be very potent. I could add burn to a weapon as well. Now, could I... It has to be a carving. Ah, okay. All right. I I see what you're doing. Uh, okay. I, I think I, I approve. Sure. We'll uh, go ahead and we'll add a bit of burn there. We'll also add a bit of burn here. This one only has one more. Uh, let's add a bit of burn there. So now I've got two items that add burn. I could add extra burn so that I've got double burn there. Uh, add two spikes to a shield. I see no reason not to just go through all of my uh, money here, frankly. Another two spikes to this shield. And two spikes to this shield. There we go. I don't see me using money in shops, really. Now, let's see how that uh, change has affected things. Uh, well, there's not a lot I can actually place here, but okay. Uh, that's a little bit of a concern, I'm not going to lie. Uh, let's pop you down there and there. Okay. Let's toss these. I should have actually... Well, no, that one still takes energy to play. Alright, let's get in there, do a little bit more damage, and I'm not going to toss that one, that seems silly to do. Uh, I'll just accept that I'm only doing 14 damage here. You're going to die from the burn on the following turn, so I'm not too concerned about that. Alright, let's see how that goes. There we go. Now, let's get some poison in here, and I wouldn't mind... Oh, no, there's really almost no no function for bringing that in at this point. Let's pop that there, get rid of all of that, get rid of you, and then just do as much damage as I can. Oh, I'm out of energy, my bad. Right, we're going to reshuffle the deck. Now, the only, only thing that would be a positive of having a larger deck is more cards in the discard pile at any one time. And that is useful. Uh, there's no... There's no uh, there's no uh, version of that that wouldn't be good, considering I can always use this Mossy Mace since it's an item. But I can't upgrade it, which is a bit of an interesting one. I, I, I wasn't expecting that. Uh, three weak and slow. And we've got the Briar Dagger. Deals five damage when out of uses. This carving is discarded. Can be used two times each turn. Hmm. Yeah, but it still costs energy to do it. That being said, if I were to upgrade this with something like Burn, that wouldn't be a bad choice. And it can be used twice each turn. So I could use it, summon it once. And then use it for zero energy on successive turns. Because the energy cost to use it is the top right. The summon cost is the bottom middle. So if I brought this in... Well, that's a tempting one. Especially if I were to put burn on this. I'll pick it up. 
I, I, I won't be able to put burn on it, obviously. Not not right now, at the very least. But uh, if only I'd seen what I... Uh, if only I'd picked that up, I should have gone to the battle first. I was considering it. I was like, oh, well, I'll just get the money, and if I've got enough, I'll go back. But uh, no, that didn't end up working my way. Hello. I take items to and from Haversack Hill. Well, I'm going to be back in a moment because I think I'm going to go and take on the Rude Rooster, see what uh, other things there are. And I might give you, I might you know, use you to clear out my deck a little bit because I'm starting to not feel I need this. Right. Uh, let's get this into play. Let's also bring in some block, some spikes. We will then oh, let's toss. Then we're going to play this. There. Oh, no, I can't. Am I unable to play it? Oh, cannot be used. Why? Um. I don't know. Curious. Doesn't seem like it should be difficult for me to play, but uh, alright, I, I guess not. Then. Why is this locked in place? Um, I am so confused. Shockingly confused, in fact. Uh, but okay, let's uh, try and bring something else in then. Can be used two times. Let's bring that in. Uh, and uh, I'm going to assume I can use it once. There we go. And I've only got one more use. Yes. Uh, base, two uses. Uh, we'll just leave that one there for now. Bring you in. Bring this in. Nope, cannot be added there. Oh, it's already in place. Let me see if that gets rid of it. No, it did not. Hmm. I think this is uh, currently occupying a space. Let's see if I can... Oh, there we go. That was a bit of a weird weird uh, bug there. We're okay. Uh, I could disable you right now if I super wanted to, and I may as well, sure. We, did, we, we didn't really have the block there to sustain the attack. Now, let's get a little bit more poison going on. Uh, I should have played this first, as usual, I forget. Uh, there we are. Let's get you in play. Let's add that into play. I can use this up twice. And I have no particular reason not to. Oh, actually, yeah. It has used up a lot of my uh, my uh, energy just to bring that into play. That was a bit of a shame. But that's fine. They're going to do a lot of damage on the spikes that I'm accruing. And having so many things that give me spikes is really paying off here, I feel. Let's bring this in. Both of these. Get rid of all of that. There we are. Get rid of it. Oh, no, no. Oh. Oh, come on. Let me... Nah, that's annoying. Is there a way for me to... There we go. And then we can finish it off. Oh yeah, not too bad. Right, what are we going to pick up? We've got the loot box. When an item is destroyed, creates a new item of the same size. Disabled for one turn. Uh, spare glasses, adds two energy. On clear carvings, disabled for the rest of combat. I can't see without my glasses. Or cracked bottle. Toss adds additional damage for each carving in your backpack. I think the cracked bottle is the way to go. That being said, creative use of the mossy brick would mean I wouldn't have to clear my carvings. And I don't... well... I, amuse, I assume this means tossing as well? I mean, you know what? We can, we can try this out. We can, we can see how this works. Sure, I'm not above uh, experimenting a little bit. Uh, we'll just tuck that away somewhere. Uh, over here. There we are. It gives me the most contact points for our uh, magic using items. Now let's see what's in here. We have got a uh, deals nine damage. It's not too bad. Root sap, shiitake mushroom, another poison carving. I will take this. The acidic potion. Is any of this actually needed for anything? No, they're just it's just random carving, so nothing so far is strictly needed for a recipe right now. 
Uh, this is just needed for various uh, I don't I, I guess I'll bring that along no, no reason not to uh, in fact I can bring all of these because I can al always give them to parcel this is where we find out that parcel won't actually take them now and I'm gonna be very sad with myself uh, Jason weapons get plus two damage on summon deals five lucky carving that's great luck another shiny gem uh, frog magician boots for each mana stone above this adds two block Adds one to mana connected. Uh, uh, each turn adds one mana to connect a mana network. Now that one may well be worth me taking. Shimming some of these around. Uh, we would want a little bit more room, honestly, but we could do something like that. And I could have all of these kind of tucked at the side. Then just keep this area clear. It, it's kind of making this a little bit more difficult for us, but that's each turn. And that is hard to pass up on. Also, the, the fact that it's going to restore um, mana to the network as well is a pretty pretty big one, actually. I'm going to just keep, allow this. I know that I'm going to lose out on one, but I want the extra room, the three, so I can place a staff horizontally while still connecting to things rather than vertically. All right, I will take that. All right, let's finish. All right, let's head back to Parcel. See if Parcel would like to take some things back to have us at kill for us. All right, Parcel, could you do me the solid of... Oh, no, could I not? Oh, no, I should have double-checked that I could do that. No. Okay, well, that is... <laughs> less than ideal. <laughs> that is very much less than ideal. All right, lesson learned. Uh, double check first. Uh, could you please give me some more max health? I might need it going forward. Uh, Deep Cave or Enchanted Swamp? You know what? Let's go to the Enchanted Swamp show. Let's go and speak with the speaker again. Okay. Now, who are we going to be fighting? Uh, a, a frog magician. Why are we fighting a frog magician? That makes no sense. All right. Um... Adds one rich self each turn. When an adjacent consumable is used, adds three rich self and this carving is disabled. I'll, sure, I'll bring it into play. Let's place these down. I guess I don't really need this. Uh, but sure, we'll bring it in anyway. And then I'm going to get rid of them all. And get rid of that. Yeah, I, I can only assume that this will be disabled if I, if I use toss at all. So uh, we will avoid that. Having all of that extra energy there. Wow, I really should have taken you out first. Did not pay attention to that, but okay. Uh, another mana stone. Once we've got our level up, it's, we're going to create a massive column for mana. Um, we're now also starting to accrue items, which are going to necessitate... Keeping some things in play. And if that's the case, I may as well have the Gardener's Helmet. Ah, uh, why did I do that? Can I even make it now? No. Oh, that was silly of me. Oh, well. What the heck are you? Nightblades. Elite guards of the College of Dreams who have betrayed the sacred trees. Huh. Skinks. Skinks appear silently, sneaking. Did you snap up treasure from the unsuspecting? I kind of want to get rid of you, though. You seem exceedingly dangerous. Let's pop that in position. Uh, that should start generating block for us. Let's also hit you with some poison. There we are. Uh, let's pop that in. Now, if I bring in the Briar Dagger... Oh, it's a good way of getting rid of... Pop this up top. Uh, it's a good way of getting rid of your dodge, if nothing else. Well, this is not going to do much damage, but... Tunk. And you're going to add speed into this. Let's get rid of that as well. Well, actually, uh, I should have gone for someone else so I could actually do the damage to them. There we are. Finally taking some damage there, which is not great. I really wish I hadn't picked this up now. Um, on you, steals 10 damage. Uh, not... This carving is then banned. When out of uses, uses, this carving is banished. Hmm. What am I getting her out of the deck for now? Yep, 
need to have it in a position where it could connect to that. Uh, is this conductive? No, sadly. Uh, I should double check that, but okay. Well, we can easily remove you, thanks to the enormous amounts of energy that we've got. And thankfully, we are slowly building up the discard pack uh, deck just by placing things, so that still works for us. Uh, I'm not going to place either of these. There we go. Now I've got to be very careful about what I take. Uh, I, I guess we'll take a, the, an upgraded mana stone. We'll just... Well, This is this is muddying so hard. Um, we're not far off our level though. Melee weapon carving. I'm not going to take that now. We don't we don't need any other carvings for that for a long while actually. All right, we've got 14 coins, three damage to a weapon, one burn to a weapon, add two block to armor. Right, burn to a weapon on the briar dagger, please. This is going to be a nice one to have that burn on. There we go. Uh, we've got mushrooms. Say a prayer. Plus three max HP. Take a bath. Plus 15 HP. Kick it over. Start a battle. Nestled deep in the throng of mushrooms, you see a magical font. It's cool waters flowing above the wa uh, cool waters flowing. Above the water, a humid mist circles and spills over the edge. In the distance, you hear frogs croaking. No, chanting. I'm not going to fight, fight my kin. I will happily accept uh, some extra h HP, though. You wish to make it home safely, your backpack overflowing with rare cheeses. You feel a warmth in you. You can do this. Okay, there we go. All right, let's go and have a quick gander what we have down here. Got the Dark Ledger. When an enemy is defeated, adds one energy. Hmm. Okay. We've got the Illusory Tape. All effects applied to this get uh, passed on. The Daughter's Blade. On summon, deals 10 damage. On use, deals 3 damage. And then this carving is discarded. Ooh, a carving which gets discarded. Even for energy, that's useful for me. When my turn ends, this gets discarded. Okay, we've got a couple of things that I don't mind, because they'll uh, they'll allow me to discard. I, I don't really feel that book, because it's another one that I'm going to have to keep. All right, finally use the key. Which means I can move. What? Pot. Oh, I thought I was going to say a pot of tea. Oh, no! Why? <laughs> I don't even know what I picked up. Items in this room can be uh, are refreshed and can be used again. <sighs> so annoying. Uh, each turn, draw one carving. It's a big thing, though. Oh, I picked up another shiny gem. I guess that's not the worst thing I could have picked up. But this... Oh, this is an item. Oh. Hmm. Can always sell it. Hello. Would you like to buy... I... Oh. I can't always sell it. That was a lie. I told you a big fib. Uh, now... <laughs> it would have actually been useful to be able to sell some of my items there. Uh, or rather get rid of some of the carvings, but I spent the, the points on upgrading the dagger. Might have been better to go there, because I've, I've really been fumbling the not filling my inventory with random tat thing. But let's see what this, uh, what we can do with the smith. Burn, block, or more block to armor. Okay. I wouldn't mind adding a bit more block onto my uh, boots, honestly. Right, well this fight is going to follow me. I'm not taking the curse. Hello. Right, want to remove you as quickly as I possibly can. Alright, uh, hmm. Adds two, adds three. Also, can be used two times a turn. Right, let's pop this in. Let's add you. Add you. Bring this in. Remove you out of the running. I'm a little bit concerned about being able to put in the mossy blocks. They might just kick this out. I don't want to lose it. Because it is an item. Yeah. 
losing. I might actually lose it if I if I play it now. So I've got to be very careful about my positioning at this point. Um, do do I need this for research? Not really. So I can check it out. Um, can I bring it back? No. Okay. Well, it's uh, interesting to know. May have just lost that, unfortunately, but uh, it's just the way it is. Okay, level up. Will we be able to save it? Uh, it looks like we might. Can I keep it? Oh, we can. Thank goodness. All right. Boots can go there. This can... Oh, honestly, it's kind of in the way, no matter what. Uh, the jar carving. On summon, draw two carvings. That's not a bad one, actually. I'll take it. Don't know about the pot of plenty. I might just let it be lost. I don't have a key, sadly. Oh, my. Oh, my. This looks a bit of a rough one. We've got the Rat King over here. His tail is intertwined with the darkness of this place. Frog Wizard. Frogs know about a deep magic that appears on rare Wednesdays. Only on rare Wednesdays? What about common Wednesdays? Uh, let's, let's have a look at what we want to bring in in what order. I'm going to summon this. Who knows what I get? There we go. Pop that down there. Bring you in here. I'm not going to bring that one in. I'm going to leave that one out. Though ultimately, I want to fill this area with the uh, with items. Right, I want to remove the healing as quickly as I can. So I'm just going to focus on that for now. Yep. Oh, this is going to hurt. Well, absolutely no mistake. But already back up to 26. That was glorious, actually. <laughs> wow. That was intoxicatingly amazing. Okay. Let's bring you in. Uh, I'm going to place this, then you. Then I'm going to remove all of those items. That way I can bring this back in. Uh, let's see if I can't finish you off. My lord. The amount of damage I'm doing. Right. Uh, when 46 total damage is inflicted, it'll change its tactic. Uh, stack when defeated creates new enemies. It's fine. Let's just go ahead and wallop you. Don't need to play this for now. That energy is really, really helpful. Right, let's... Uh, sure, let's get all the poison on you. The tricky thing here is... Managing to get through this. There we are. We've got to place them in the right order. I want to leave that clear, though. So I'm just going to finish it off. At this stage, there's nothing that you can do that's going to be a problem for me. All right, let's remove all of those. I guess just bring this in. Remove that. Um, sure. Play that. Then finish you off. Uh, that being said, of course, you just create more creatures over time. It does say that as well. Oh, there we, are. we can probably finish you fairly uh, fairly easily. Uh, I want to leave that space open. There we are. Okay, not too bad. Uh, I, again, I, I really don't feel that taking any of these on is going to be useful for me. All right, well, with that done, let's go and pay a visit to the enemies down here. Got a shielder there. You're only going to get very aggressive once you're down. So it's always super tempted to go for them first. But generally speaking, best not to. Uh, let's play this. Try and leave things a little bit open. 
well, I guess I can put that in, I suppose. There we are. Now let's focus on taking them down as quickly as we can. It shouldn't be too much of an issue. Right, the stick can go over there. Alright, ring in the ring. Uh, I would like to apply some poison to you. And then slide that up. And we can almost certainly finish this fight at this point. There we go. Nice and easy. This is going so much better than last time. My goodness. Alright, Anoki Mushrooms. Each turn, add four block. When an adjacent consumable is used, add ten block. Now this is what I would like to bring in. Of course, you know, I don't, having it there is, is nice. Uh, but having the ability to combine it with the uh, the other mushrooms is, is really what I want there. Do I actually have... Let me have a look at my carvings a second. See which ones I have room on. None there. I've got a little bit of room there, though. The druid staff as well. Really, for me... <sighs> It's blocked to shields, but I've already got spikes on some of them, and I really feel that spike is a better option as well. No, uh, I guess adding two block to armor wouldn't be a bad one. I wonder if this would mean... Now let's have a look at that. Does that change how much block it adds? No, it, it only... It just gets a flat plus two. That would have been amazing if that would have added two for each mana stone, but it would have been broken, let's be honest. Right, once again, want to take you out in a certain order here. Uh, let's first bring in some more carvings. Um, let's go for you. Like this in. I would like some extra block going on. And bring all of this in. There we go. Uh, it's not going to do a whole lot of damage, but that will kill you now by itself. And you'll die from the fire fairly quickly as well. Let's stick it down there. I'm not going to be bringing in the uh, boots, unfortunately, but that's fine. Uh, oh, actually, no, you didn't. You weren't going to be taken out by, uh, by the fire, because there was only one turn's worth of it. Right, well, you should be easy enough to remove. There we go. And... Just bring in a little bit of extra block. Your first attack will kill you, so we won't actually lose any health there. Right, the frog carving adds one mana to connected mana network each turn. On use, adjacent carvings are dis... Ooh. Now that one is a useful one. I'll bring it along. Really, really undecided about where to put this pot. I want to keep it, but at the same time, I... <laughs> Really don't. Uh, nothing up my sleeves. Hmm. About that. About that. No, I don't really intend to play that game, I'm afraid. Uh, let's go grab the actual experience. There we go. What? The seer, he gazes into the dream, and it stares back. Oh dear. Uh, right, well, we want the mushrooms up here. Oh, I should have brought that in first. Let's bring that in next. And you start stacking up some damage. I, yeah, sure, let's just get rid of those. Oh, this doesn't get taken out itself. It just uses mana to constantly discard. Oh, I very much like that. I like that even more. All right. I can only assume you're Yeah, you're going to bring in Hex. Of course you are. Alright, let's uh, continue to stack up the damage. Um, can I use that at all? No. It's fine. Uh, we can bring that in. Get rid of that. I don't mind about doing this right now. Uh, hmm. I should bring that in. And I'm going to use this a couple of times, and then use... Oh, there we go. <laughs> Actually, not too bad. We are so close. So shockingly close. Swamp Bangle. On summon, adds one energy. Ooh. Not a bad one. We're about to get a level up, so we're going to make uh, our shoes even better. What have we got over here? 
Let the good times roll. Mm. Well, the cutting board where an adjacent consumable is used, I'd four. I mean, all of these are kind of nice. But I don't feel like risking anything right now. We're playing kind of a cautious run because I'm still very much not used to Toad. Very, very much not used to Toad. I'll leave you here for now. Or am I? Uh, no, I'm not really. That, that was a lie. Alright, uh, we are then going to remove all of those. Get rid of this. Bring this into play. Probably shouldn't have been wailing on you, really, should I? I'm going for you. I thought it really made a difference in the end. Though I'm going to really hurt in a second. I can't get my boots in there. There's a big mistake there. Alright. Uh, can't really play that right now either. Just going to have to wail on you for a bit. Only four from taking, uh, from pulling down the amount of damage you're about to do. Uh, yeah, I really did not properly plan this, did I? I'm going to add one energy. I approve. Can I not place that? Oh, I cannot. Okay. Well, let's just take you down for now. Continue to wail through. There we go. And on oh not enough man connected man like that. There we go. We're just gonna fill things out because I'm fairly certain we're gonna get the correct block. Oh no we did not. Interesting. Okay, draw two carvings maybe. Oh no, we just dumped all of its damage output. Big sad. Big sad. Alright. That was a big misplay, because now I'm going to take one unnecessary point of damage. I'm going to have to just dump the carving shortly. That being said, no, we will still win. And there we go, our, our level up is here, finally. Uh, I guess the other way we could do this is by making a space for the cauldron over on the side. Actually, I think that might be the better way. Because this is getting really in the way. Right, we've got the black candle can be played over other items. On summon, discards all carvings in this row. Ooh. This carving is then discarded. Now that would be well worth it for us. I'm keeping that one for now. It's a lot of space, but it does seem useful. Uh, is there anything here worth it? me taking the lucky charm? I guess. Um... Yeah, I'm going to take it because it'll be banished after that. Alright, hello. Alright, I want to take you out of the, the out of this uh, fight as quickly as I'm able to. So, add some poison. Get extra damage. Add that in. Let's go. Oh, row not column. I... I was so aware of the possibility of me making that mistake as well. That's the worst thing. It's in my head, I was like, oh, make sure make sure I'm, I'm getting this the right way around. I still got it wrong. Let me know if you ever do that. If you, if you ever become so focused on not making a mistake that you make that mistake, quite possibly because you were so focused on it. Oh, uh, my goodness. Oh, well. I'm losing, losing more health than I would like to see, frankly. Um... I'm not a big fan. But cannot be used right now. <sighs> oh, these are... Oh, these are, in fact... I was assuming the mushrooms were consumables. They are not. Duly noted. Duly noted. Alright, well, this is going to kind of be a rough one. Unless I can remove... There we go. Now we're back into a, a more comfortable position for ourselves. But yeah, I was... I, because they, they're basically... You know, the carvings of mushrooms. I, I get it now, obviously. The carvings of mushrooms. And that's the, that's the important detail there. Um, oh, damn it. <laughs> Got rid of the shoes. Uh, but yeah, I, I was... For some reason, I had it in my mind I was going to be able to, to eat them. And thus, you know, prop their effects off each other. 
Oh well. I don't need any of those. Finish choosing. And uh, let's grab the coins. And let's see what we've got down here as well. Hello. You've got gem sap. You've got another mushroom that I'm not going to be able to... Ooh. Tree shield can be placed over other items. On summon, adds 14 block. Carvings behind are discarded. Oh. Yes, we'll take that. Anything that helps me discard things is a big part of this build. I love how we started out. Yeah, there's going to be a magic run. All it, it, The magic, you understand, is is fists. Our magic is muscles. Or, or Well, actually, it's a mace. So, yeah, no, harken back to my uh, my Skyrim streams. We are, we are a Bonkomancer wizard. We cast Bonk with extreme prejudice. Uh, do we want to add burn to weapons or add block to shield that I've got? I think we will at this point fill out the shields that I have. So sure, you get a little bit more block. I would like to add a bit more block onto my armor. And you can have it there. Is there any w other weapon that I can add burn onto? I could add onto the druid staff, sure. Seems a burn is one of the only things that I'm going to be able to get. And that's it, I haven't got enough gold for anything else. All right, onwards to what I believe is the finale. Let us see if we're up to taking on the speaker. But then... Oh, wait, it's not the speaker, of course. It's the Elder Mage. From his hand, a gold chain dangles, an idol of his leader. Hmm. Worshipping false idols, eh? Alright. Uh, well... <laughs> we don't need greater luck for this one. Pop. Uh, we'll, we'll play it, sure, but we don't need it. Uh, I'm also going to play this down hither. Yep. Okay, already open strong. Very strong. What the heck is that? Audrey, is that you? <laughs> I love... Okay, it is actually Audrey. My, I have never seen this this boss or this character before. I just want to put that out there. This that was just me. Oh, it's a big plant with teeth. It's probably Audrey. Yeah, no, or Audrey too. No, no, it is actually Audrey. Audrey in everything but name. Fair enough. Hello, Audrey. Uh... <laughs> right. Um, I would like to summon some carvings. I'm not too concerned about the damage that you're going to be doing. Uh, let me get this helmet in place, though. Uh, I would like to play this. I would like to play this. Uh, let's go ahead, add some burn. And... Let's bring that in. Get rid of all of those. Bring this in. And this. Sure, let's remove. Well, no, if, if I discard it, it's immediately going to be... Oh, that's not actually a bad move. All things said and done. Uh, you know, if I played it up there, I would have actually been able to use it. That was a bit of a shame. Uh, but there we go. We've got a lot of uh, items discarded, so fight is already over. Goodbye, Audrey. Go back to Seymour. And some more mana, because, you know... I guess we were a wizard run, really. This is our wizard's cauldron, uh, otherwise known as a teapot. And uh, our robe, wizard's hat, beard, and all of the mana stones forever. And we've got the golden seed. All right, let's head back up to Haversack Hill. But hopefully things are looking a little bit more, more normal. They are, in fact, looking a little bit more normal. Thank goodness. I explored deep into the dungeon, deeper than I've ever been before. I think I'm ready now. If you have any of my help in the deepest places beneath us, just let me know. I will do my best to help you. Ah, the anticipation is building. I, it is. Uh, all right. Uh, I, th I think Purse is like, let me go and save my father. Damn it. Fair, Purse. Fair. But first, I I'm afraid I got some things I need to do first. The raid on our town was just the beginning. You need to defeat them, Purse. You will see them more po uh, that more powerful enemies are now appearing in the dungeon. Yeah, I already did, actually. These powerful enemies, called elites, will chase you down if you see them. Ah, okay, so that's what those are. 
and you may want to consider avoiding them if you are not at your best. But they also drop more valuable items, so when you have the advantage, be sure to defeat them. Yes, it requires careful planning, just like organization. Great job bringing so much back to the people of Ordaria. Uh, the, sorry, the people of Ordaria, thank you. There are still more areas to unlock. Do you have lost sparks, honey? Uh, do I? Uh, apparently I do. The key to the magma core. Well, you can have one of them. I've got to get another two. All right. Hope that helped. It did, actually. Thank you very much. Uh, oh, wrong place. I don't want to go in there yet. Uh, want to go and... What? Where are you? Are you down here? Are you stuck? What? Um, hello? Turn lemons into lemonade. That's what I always said. So I didn't survive the attack. I'm not going to let that stop me. Someone needs to keep watch for those we lost. And I'm making the best of a bad situation. You can too, with these new ghostly items. Uh, okay. So with these items, you must keep them in the entire run. And spectral orb, adjacent items are ghostly. Oh, that'll give me a lost spark. Okay, a new unlock, ghostly glove. The item to the left becomes ghostly until the end of the turn. What the heck is ghostly, though? Ghostly. Can you tell me about ghostly? Uh, one time each turn. Doesn't really say what ghostly is. Ghostly, adjacent worms get plus one, adds plus one damage for each open space in this row. Adjacent items are, are ghostly, yeah. But what does ghostly mean? Hmm. I have no idea. I guess we'll find out. I hope you can use them against the forces of the king. I hope so too. I hope so too. I really would like to know where you are. Where is that person whose path is blocked? Things just aren't the same without your father here. I miss him terribly. My brother has an eye out in the dungeon, and I'm listening here, waiting to hear something. In the meantime, you should keep adventuring. You might find some clues about him. Exploring the dungeon is the best way to get him back. Very well. I will do so. Where are they? Really? Oh, hello, dearie. I didn't know that anyone even knew the way over here. How did you get there? I isolated myself here. I'm a bit of a scientist myself, and this is my retreat. But over the years, my cottage has fallen into despair. Oh, I can barely do research there anymore. Could you maybe build me a new workshop, dearie? Uh, okay. It would really help me continue my research. Can you build that cottage for me? Having a new workspace would help so much. I, oh, oh, hmm. I mean, to be fair, cloistering yourself over the river during a raid that is actually pretty common sense. Can't even argue with the logic. The recent attack on our town was a travesty. So many were hurt. And worst of all, this will not be good for my approval ratings. Ah, oh, really, Quill Swish. <sighs> Where were you during the attack? Did you fight against the king's troops? I was handling an even larger crisis at the time. My sinking pole numbers. I need something to turn things around and to commemorate my brave deeds. I had just the thing in mind, but alas, just like you, during the raid, someone valuable was taken from me. It's my limited edition Mayor Quill Swish plush. Trademark pending. Those monsters. Indeed, Purse. Monsters with valid voting IDs, no less. One of King Gu King's guards carried it off. Please, Purse, bring it back. The fate of Ordaria may well hang in the balance, and more importantly, I miss being able to stare into my own face. A tragedy indeed. I am going to blow your mind when I introduce you to mirrors, Cool Swish. Do you have a limited edition May Cool Swish plush on you by chance? I, I do not. I, I don't tend to carry them around. That's not the rare collectible that I'm looking for. I, I, yes, okay. Right, well, let's go through and see what we can do. First and foremost, I can't... You're a consumable. Hmm. We're going to use that to unlock a couple of things. I've got enough to unlock the star potion. Create something really good or a horrible curse. Sure. We'll, uh, we'll grab it just so that I can say I've got it, really. Uh, have we got anything else? We've got a footwear uncommon. Sure, we'll go with that. Tonk. This item is heavy. Weapons in this column get plus one damage. For each row above this, plus two block. Okay, I like it. Ring uncommon. You can have that one. We're getting there. I need a rare ring, and then we can get the brass knuckles. Uh, but that's everything for the smithy, I think. Uh, let's look at uh, the uh, barracks, I believe this one is. Nothing particularly there for me. Ooh, shield. 
Sure, you can have any of these. Red Root, you start with these items. You must keep them in the entire run. Uh, we just get cornucopia for that one, so it's not that much of a, an interest to me. Oh, let's unlock this one. Red Tusk, you start with these items. You must keep them the entire run. Ah, this one's got a uh, spark, so that one matters to me. That one matters to me a lot. Let's also unlock this one. The Rose, also another spark. I like it. We only need two sparks to unlock the Magma Core, the third level. Uh, magic Ray. Sure, let's go for that. I'm going to need uh, an arrow there as well, but that's fine. Uh, you know what? We really do need to do another bow run. It has been an age since we did a bow run. Wand Uncommon. Sure, we'll go with that. Now I need a Magic Ray. Oh, I should have gone for this one because I could have definitely unlocked that one. Uh, carvings now. You can just have these. And you can have this one. That's an awful lot that they want, though. My lord. Mushroom Friend and Sap Primer. I very much want to unlock Sap Primer. Okay. Paying attention to that one. Um, I say, knowing that there is a very good chance that I will forget that that's what I wanted. Uh, the Emerald weapons in this column get plus two damage. Sure, we'll unlock that one. We've got a couple of unlocks pending. Yeah, sure, we'll also get the Large Heart Ring. There we are. Beautiful. And we can also go for the Red Pill. Weapons along a dag and a line get plus three. Anything else that we have done the lion's share of the work for? Yeah. The crab cactus adds three spikes to self. That's a legendary item, that one. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. Right. Next up, another carving. Oh, we'll pop in a poison carving there. Uh, can't afford that one, sadly. Uh, we can afford to get the blessed sword or the blessed potion. In fact, we could also get the uh, unlock uh, the crusade, but uh, let's go with the blessed sword. On kill, creates a blessing. On use, eight damage. That one sounds very, very interesting. All right, but that's all done. Let's see about what we're going to need to build this. Seventy-five food and two hundred and fifty treasure. That is going to be relatively easy for us to get in the next episode, and that is what we're going to be doing. Obviously, we're going to be taking out purse for this one. Let's go on an adventure. With Purse, uh, let's go with... Yeah, we'll go with Purse Ninja. It's been a little while. Right. Got a couple of options. We can go with a standard run. We can go Fishy Business. When you start with these items, it ends after Area 2. Ghostly. That would unlock a spark. Meditation would unlock a spark. We would start with a Broken Idol. Uh, the Red Cotton. If you cannot find rare or legendary item, uh, Sorry, you cannot find rare or legendary items in combat. Uh, I mean, ultimately, we probably want to do it. Red Flame. Cannot be placed in the same place twice, and it moves around. Red Tusk. Cannot be rotated. All items cannot be rotated. Ooh, that one, that one sounds actually quite nasty. Not gonna lie. Uh, okay, I think we'll go with the Broken Idol, and we'll see what we can do. Maybe this will be a bow run if we can make, can make that happen. All right, I'm not going to forget, though, that uh, I am going to need to... Oh, oh, that's fantastic. I'm going to need to... Oh, well, Matthew isn't here, actually. I, I guess Matthew only shows some standard runs. I was going to talk with Matthew and get the, the bow, and I was going to say I need to do that before I save, but no, we can save nice and safely. But that's going to be it for today's episode. I really do hope you enjoyed. I'm very glad that we managed to get a, a tote win, and honestly... It never felt that we were really that pressed with with this one. What a stark contrast that was to the, the first run with Tote. I am trying to tell myself that that was because I was focusing and not because I simply understand the mechanics better, but realistically, I was just taking a bit more of my own advice in that I just wasn't muddying my deck. I was trying to remain focused on a, a theme for the deck, and that seemed to pan out. Except for that uh, mistake I made after the first boss, thinking I could just send the carvings back to Haversack Health. Shame that we can't do that, but that's fine for now, I think. But that is going to be it from me. So until next time, and as always, from myself and uh, Ninja Purse, do take care, everyone. <laughs>